Dalam sana pak. Pati. Oh boy. Thank but this one. Ada yang sama. Sama. Tiga. Empat. Okay. So this is beautiful. I'm gonna zip tie all of this crap back right there. I'm gonna get some zip ties. All right. So now we have some slack here. You know, I just tie all of these things together somewhere. I'm uh, trying to find a good place. I think this wiring loom in the back here will be okay. As long as we don't pull too much, it should be intact. Okay. I think I'm very glad I didn't tackle this job myself. No, I mean, some jobs, honestly, you have to leave it to Somebody who's done it a couple of times at least, you know? Yeah. It's just safer. It's a lot different than a Subaru. It's just safer, you know? You don't run into some crap. Especially that bolt in the back there. That would have been hell for anybody. Yeah. All right, cool. So now we're here. Um, I'm still going to have to fight for those two bolts in the back to remove them. But... That's a lot less pain than everything else, so we're going to go ahead and remove all of the bolts around the above cover. 10 millimeters, except for these two. There's going to be 12. All the Toyotas, with, uh, these three, I'm sorry, on this corner. The three on the corner right here, always going to be 12 millimeters, different from the other ones. Remember that. One, two, three. One of them going to be long. Here you go, take it up there. Everything else is going to be 10 millimeters, except for those three bolts. It will be 12. And uh, that's the same setup for most of the V6 Toyotas, huh? Cool. Um, let's get a 10. And we're gonna start. Quarter turn, basically, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, nothing to it. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. This is really snug on that in boards. It's almost like they got locked tight on it. Actually, they do do that. Some some Toyotas use locked tight. That bolt right there. Which one? Underneath this situations, you know, it's a lot of crap in the way. So you can use a wobbly if you want to. I got the flex head, so. That's that. Let me see what else I got alongside there. The other one, I'm going to have to use a small ratchet to get into it. Right there, the last one on the corner there. I'm probably going to use my quarter inch just to gain access. Kind of deep. We can't see it on camera. I'm sorry. Let me sorry. see if I can. <laughs> That's how we got a truck. Oh, boy. <laughs> right? That truck is something else. It's tough. Right here is my hand. If I move these things up a little bit. But anyway, that's a lot. Well, not take the valve cover, you see it. So that one, I'm going to get to it with my... Oh. Ah. Oh, Oh, that had to be Toyota. That's ridiculous. Bro. How would you put like that on the freaking Valco bolts? Really? To I lock it on tight? <laughs> 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 yeah, they achieved that. If that's what they wanted, uh, you got it. All, right. All of them got locked tight. That's really not good. All right. All right, these I can use my impact to run them out now that I'm already broke them loose. But the other one there. Is there any on that side on the back? No, only that one that I was struggling with, which I'm going to use some wobbly to get to it. Okay. I'm going to get my wobblies. We may be able to do something. It's being stubborn, but we got our ways. Ways and means. Okay. Uh, I need a 
And that one there's a 10 millimeter long, if I can. Set it on there, that'll be great. If not, um, how about that with this one? Okay, right there. Oh, yeah. I can get to it. I mean, a short extension, a short socket. Hold on one second. Let me just try to move those wires, those hoses up a little bit. You want me to pull them over side for you? Now, this one's only these two. The one in the bottom? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Perfect. That's good. Perfect. You can release it. It's, it's locked behind the knuckle uh, of boss. You see that one now? Oh, God. See. From there, you see, right? Uh, yes. See my hand? Right there. Yes, we see it. Right there. Clear now. Yeah, and I got my socket on it. Alright, cool. Let me just get my impact. Right, I'm centered. That's about it. Pesky bolt right there. Just look at the lock tight right there. See it? <laughs> Some strong lock tight. Like so. These I'm gonna put, see how they look like the one that goes on uh, ignition coils, and that's why I want to separate them. All right, cool. So the rest of them should just come off. These are easy access ones. Deca deca. That's right. All right. These I'm gonna do next. But I just use my. So you have to go crisscross just for right, to release matter. it properly. Doesn't matter because the glue is there already to glue it down. I see. So they don't, you know, it's not like it's depending on it by itself. I see. Now, if you're doing a head gasket that you, you know, that is because there's so much clamping force. But this, I usually torque to like less than 12 pound feet of torque. Oh, that's not much at all. That's what I'm saying. So you don't really have to stress yourself with trying to move it in a particular sequence. You can do, you do, but. I've never heard of a belt cover, unless you have a plastic belt cover. Yeah. Uh, that I would definitely advise that. But you know, most cases on a plastic belt cover, you replace them entirely anyway. Well, if, you know, you, if, yeah. it, if the top of the engine is plastic, then. Yeah, like <laughs> on a newer BMWs, uh, uh, quite a few cars have the plastic belt cover, but usually you just re replace the entire belt cover. Mm -hmm. You don't take a chance, especially on a. I've done one on the BMW, recently it's on my channel. Uh, but like I said, don't even take a chance trying to replace the gasket. Just go get a brand new belt cover. Mm -hmm. Riddle, by the time you get to it, it's just not worth it. All right. This is the time to have a, um, what you call it, uh, Again, I don't want to remove the vine for the whole, uh, fuel. Alright, right, everybody got their favorite ratchet. This is my favorite ratchet. Can we see? It came, it came as a kit from uh, uh, Gear Ranch. This is a spark plug socket kit they sell, but honestly. That's my favorite ratchet. Don't say it about, say it about your children. <laughs> Only ratchets. <laughs> yeah. yes. You sure? <laughs> uh, well, you know, don't say it. You can think it, though. You can't say it, you know. Let's remove this. Did it help me at all? Hmm? Did it help me at all? Uh, I can't tell you. I think so. Barely. Yeah. Barely is true. 
Hey, help is help, right? <laughs> yes. See, the last one is the longest one. These two are equal in length. This one that sits right here, the last one of the three, the longest one, okay? But you will know it, because when you put it in here, look, you can tell that it's not gonna be there. You see that? This one goes all the way down like a shirt. So you really can't mix them up. Woo! It does nothing. <laughs> I, swear to God, I don't even have any type of nothing. <laughs> Woohoo! It's gonna be fun. All right. It seems like prying will have to be an option. <laughs> but I had to find a good spot to pry on without destroying anything at all. So, what about right there? Uh -huh. Is there there's anything nothing there? underneath it. Uh -huh. So, right here. Oh, right there. You see it? Looks right. One, two, three. Oh no! I've, I'm missing a bolt. No wonder. <laughs> Man, stop me, please. I'll destroy some. This thing is too expensive for us to break it. Yes. <laughs> Please stop me. I'm missing a bolt right here in the middle. That's it. That's pretty long. Yeah, that's the one that goes in the center. How's the gasket? Let's try this again. Nothing. Okay. Prime uh, is in order. All right, cool. Just light tap. And they said prying eyes don't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, something's something. holding. Now this is definitely going to be holding. I know that much, so but I'm not too concerned for that. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, but just make sure. Nothing there. All right, everything is out. So it's just a matter of wrestling with this thing. Just finagling it. Yeah, but everything is out. They have to move a bit more? No, let me just see what's hanging up here. Up the line. Mm -hmm. The fuel line, but it should clear the fuel line. Yeah, the fuel line is not my enemy, I don't think. I know that's that's corner, like I said, from the jump it's gonna be our challenge there, yeah, but you know what? I don't even know if this one I want actually. A little less clutter. Um Pretty clean. Oh man, this is a brand new engine. Mm. Normal, right? Yes, yeah, a brand new engine, brother. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's set this on the bench. It's okay, set it on it. Yes, yes, that's fine. This is a work table. Good job. All right. Uh, this garage is for industrial industrial use. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a clean engine right there, brother. Cam logo look pristine, almost brand new. Look at it, what a nice Barely and sweet type of wear. Um, Man, I love this truck. That's a beautiful engine for sure. Oh, this is the reason why I was getting hung up. Look at that, the stud right there, there's a dowel pin. 
If you want to zoom in there, you'll see it. There's a dial pin right there. Yes, we can. You see that dial pin? See how crusted it is? That's the reason why I couldn't pull it out. Uh, the only problem is I can't really. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to clean it just a little bit without destroying anything there. I just remove this gasket, which is still very pliable. Absolutely pliable. Wow. Look at that. Is that good or bad? It's good. I mean, this is look at it. It's a good engine. Look at that. Yeah. So. But that's the original gasket. See, people, you want to buy a truck, buy a Toyota. Not a Tundra. <laughs> <laughs> I like those trucks. Those trucks are big. The Tundras? And every year they get bigger and bigger. Yeah, it costs a lot of money too. Yeah. I like the one that says it like has a date on the side of it 18 something something. Really? Do you have one like that? Um, Texas Edition. That's really nice, man. Mm. Imagine Texas got their own edition, and that's something, you know. That's amazing. Like every truck you see from an F-150 to a, a Ram, and all of them they have a Texas edition. Uh, maybe there's some scrapers. But you hardly see Texas edition cars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have the sensor. All right, so I'm doing this so I don't have to have that fall into the engine. But this so is easier for me to do it than the opposite. The opposite would be the best, but. What? The way I'm cutting it from the top down. Okay. You want to do it from the bottom up, but you got this chain and it's in your way, you know, all that stuff. Right. So I'm putting my hand here so I don't have nothing falling there. But now that most of it is gone, you can just do this, flick it. Okay. Like this, you know. And we're just removing a tiny bit of a. Uh... That's it. It's the, honestly, because this side is the elevated side. It's never going to leave from that side. Right. Well, it's. You know, this is our right problem right here. Yeah. Right. I'll deal with that. But let's just do the easy stuff first. Get is there any on the far corner? Yeah, we're gonna do all four corners. But like I said, this is just mainly. Because this is where the gasket right. This doesn't matter. This is on the outside either way. Mm -hmm. If you wanna do it just to look good, fine, but it doesn't do nothing in terms of ceiling, because the ceiling surface is on the middle. Alright, this one. Send it in. that clean engine. Mm -hmm. You're happy now, you made a good buy. Oh yeah, it's a very good buy. Yeah, you only have to sort of the struts now. Okay, you think it's bad? I think it's bad, it's, it bounces like there's no tomorrow. Out. I don't know this, if this is a Toyota thing or a... I think it's just a... Mm. I think I'm cool with that so far. I guess but that's I where we put our RTV. Yeah, there's no RTV on the other side there, so I'm not worried about it. Let's get a... Let's uh, move on to the other side there, to the valve cover. Unfortunately, the way they designed it, you have to move the tabs in order to get it. It's really kind of tedious. Hopefully this one is not too bad because the rest of the gasket is very pliable. So you're gonna have to pry them up like that. I know it looks bad, but that's kind of how it goes. Pry it up. Yes, I don't like it, but that's the, that's the method. What are you gonna do? So do we seat it back down? Yeah, when you finish, you just top it back down. That's just kind of how it is. But this one looks like that's the first time we're doing this job. This yeah. So all of them have never been touched, you can tell. So, in 20, 10 years. All right, the other part of the job, people have different methods. What I like to do... Tap it Okay, do you have like a really flat, a flat uh, screwdriver, flat head? Small one. So what I like to do, we're gonna try it from the outside first, if, because it's the, I mean I feel like it's the safest. If it doesn't work, then I go on the inside. And because I have a bench, I'm gonna sit on it. I'm an old person. Right. Hold on. 